What's up guys? Welcome back to my Powerlifter Trades Like a Bodybuilder week four. Um, so this week is going to be a little bit different than the last couple weeks. The last couple weeks I've been kind of just train, filming one training day and then uh, that's kind of been like the entire video, the entire vlog. Today is actually going to be a little bit of a longer one. It's going to take place over the course of a couple days. I have been working out at my gym that we just opened, Arctic Strength. And uh, yeah, that's been the past month or so of kind of filming these vlogs. However, for the next month, I'm gonna be leaving to Missouri to go see my girlfriend, Tiffany. So I am going to be training at a gym out in uh, Springfield, Missouri, um, Royal Barbell Club, which is usually where I train when I'm there, either that or her basement. So I'm gonna bring you guys kind of through the journey of travel to there. We are training at Evolve Scene today and we have a nice little uh, um, heavy high bar set of five squat session and then tomorrow I'll kind of bring you guys along through my kind of travels and all the plane rides and all that fun stuff and my workout at Tiffany's place and then Wednesday we'll head into Royal. I was passing through no plans of staying on what would be the chances we got lost in it all uh, uh. It's too hard to say where you were coming from You're the living proof, life's unpredictable uh, uh, uh. In a cold, cold world When it gets too crazy See through it all We're foolproof, baby We're foolproof, baby. We're foolproof. We're foolproof, baby. We're foolproof. We're foolproof, baby. In a cold, cold world. When it gets too crazy. You do it all. We're foolproof, baby. So just finished up our session at Evolve Strength Seat. Um, I honestly wasn't expecting to run into anybody here and ended up just like running into like everybody I know kind of in the area. So it was really fun catching up with Cal, Vicky, Brent, Yoon. I'm getting to, you know, talk about a bunch of stuff with them while training. So um, training's always fun when you're around friends and people that motivate you and make you stronger and you have good spotters around you. So um, if any of you guys are watching, you know, thank you for all the support today. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, today was just a fun session. So I will catch you guys at the airport tomorrow. So we have um, made it to the airport. We've checked in and got through airport security. So long day of travel today. First flight is to Dallas. Have a little bit of a layover in Dallas and then I fly to Springfield. It'll be good. Um, I have a little bit of a wait. It's about two hours till we get on our flights. So I'm gonna go get some food. Um, it'd be a little bit hard to eat today, but I'm trying my best to hit my calories and be a little bit short on time by the time I get home. So and I have to kind of speed through my workout and you know, might not get through all of it but gonna do my best and then tomorrow we go to Royal we grab our membership there and we get started on our Springfield training arc guys
made it to Springfield, Missouri, and after a long day of travel, we are going to get our workout done. Um, I thought that Tiffany had two sets of 25s for her buildable dumbbells. It turns out she only has one, so instead of incline dumbbell press, we are going to do single arm incline press, and then we have one arm dumbbell rows, single arm lat pull downs, single arm tricep extensions, and floor press, so it should be a nice, quick, and easy workout. Um, I'm gonna do like one minute rest periods in between sets to make it go even just a little bit faster. Um, typically, ideally for strength or hypertrophy, you want like two to maybe even like three or five minute rest periods in between sets. So not super ideal to do one minute rest periods, but sometimes you just have to get the work done. It's better to get the work done than it is to not. So we are gonna warm up. We're gonna do some single arm dumbbell incline press and get after it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that concludes the dumbbell incline press. Single arm is significantly harder than double arm. I am going to finish up the workout and I will catch you guys tomorrow at Royal. Okay, so we have arrived in Springfield, Missouri at Royal Barbell Club. Um, so we're gonna finish up our last workout of the vlog. Today we have some sumo deadlifts and then we have some dumbbell RDLs. And uh, yeah, and then we finish up with some single leg leg curls. Uh, Royal has um, done some cool renovations. They've knocked down a bunch of walls and they've like really opened up the space and they're adding just like a ton of machines to the space which is really cool so I messaged Gavin and we're gonna see if we can add some uh, machines into the mix and get some fun uh, maybe some like pendulum squats belt squats and hack squats all in the program at once uh, what I will say guys is I don't know if anybody's experienced this before but if you have let me know in the comments um, I'm at the point in my bulk where T-shirt, uh, like oversized T-shirts aren't oversized anymore. They're just like regular T-shirts. And I feel kind of sad about it because I'm like some of my favorite like oversized T-shirts don't fit like oversized T-shirts anymore. So if you have uh, any any shirts that... I've been painting every fence I know Every color bleeds into the same Cause before you go and walk away Yeah, you better know where you go Okay guys, that finishes up the workout and the vlog for the week. Um, those 160 pound dumbbells on dumbbell RDLs absolutely wrecked me. Um, so that was a good one. We're, uh, I'm gonna go get some groceries now and I will see you guys next week. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for weekly content. And I appreciate all you guys watching from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me and we are gonna keep rolling along. I'm super happy with kind of the consistency of these. So hopefully we can keep the momentum rolling and uh, keep some more videos coming out. And I really hope anybody watching this is really enjoying it.